What's up, y'all? It's Big Country. Um, I know there's not a lot of videos of people working on Broncos other than um, just a handful of people that I watch. But like I said, I know there's not a lot. So I want to start making videos of me working on the truck. It's a 95 Bronco. And just help some of y'all out that just want to do it at home on your own. Learn something like me because I don't know shit if you know me. But and save some money, then here you go. Today I'm gonna be changing the oil, and I'm gonna explain how to change or pull a gas tank. Oh my f Ow. All right, so for the tank, you're gonna need this little special tool right here. It's only like eight to 10 bucks at AutoZone. It ain't that much, but you're gonna need this damn tool. Cause if you don't, you're fucked. I didn't know that. You're gonna have to use these and put them around. These little thingies right here the hoses because there's little prongs in it that you gotta push in order for it to come out so I learned it the hard way and you got a little a vacuum line you have to pull this off as you can see these are these bolts is too rusty to even do shit with so I just cut it from the back, which I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. It was too damn rusty, but that's the new tank. I looked everywhere for skid plates for this damn thing. I couldn't find shit, so that's what you get. And as you can see, this right here is also J-Red as a motherfucker. I had to cut the neck off of the other one, and because I couldn't get the damn thing off. The clamps were so damn rusted, I couldn't do shit, so I just said fuck it and cut it. So, and this is rusted also. You can see where it's been leaking at. But I'm gonna go to LKQ and pull it off. Another this one right here originally came with it, but this motherfucker right here was too damn small. So, I had to order that one. This is the original tank. Fuck that then. As you can see all that right there. So I just cut it off right there. It's holes all up in this damn thing. I couldn't pat, fill it up past 20. But there's there's a damn hole right there. All you could smell nothing was just raw gas. And I'm like, well, I thought I fixed one of them, but others are just spewing out like a mother. These are my choices of option. I'm gonna put this in it. Let it run for five minutes, like it says on the back. It says you can just read it and pause the video if you want to. But I got these from work. I'm gonna put those in it, and then I got a Purulator One oil filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in it. Took my first breath where the muddy grasses spills into the Gulf of Mexico where the skyline's colored by chemical plants to put bread on the table of the working man. Where the working now, I'm man to put the plug back on. Crank it up and let it run for five minutes and put a timer on my phone. Just put it down a little bit. Start it right back up anyway. And we'll just leave it at that. All right, so <clears throat> timer just just stop. Pop this thing. Hold on. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you where. 
the old filter is. Old filter is right there. It's probably gonna be the best option to do it from right here. Some people like to do it from underneath. I ain't got that much damn room with my big ass. But some people prefer to open this up first before you change the oil because it helps it flow better. So that's what I'm gonna do because that's what I prefer. Now, I'm underneath here. This is what you're gonna wanna be undoing. Don't touch that. But you're gonna wanna find the right socket to get it off with. Maybe a size bigger than that. What's this one? No, that's not it. Once so I found the right socket size, you're gonna need a 5 8 for the old drain. I guess I'm gonna start doing this shit now. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. We got to leverage. Oh, yeah. Turn it with your finger. Trying to get myself a dirty. Oh, God. Oh, well, that's all good. And that's how it's done. So now you go into the pan. I'm gonna drain out a little bit more before I do anything else. Don't want all that black shit in there. Now what I personally like to do is flush it a little bit. I usually like to use sea foam, but I don't have none. I was, I'm on a budget right now. But let me get my phone. I ain't gonna pour the whole thing in there. But... Feel little guzzles down up in there. Oops. You see how it's still leaking and pushing everything out a little bit. Let's get a little bit more amber color. But not quite. We'll put a little bit more in it. And what I like to do is I put a little bit, bit more oil in it and put the uh, plug in, or I put the plug in and then put oil in it. But I run it, let it run for a few seconds just so I can circulate it through a little bit and get some of the stuff out. Don't do this for a long time or you'll mess your shit up. So now, I'll open this back up. Oh, shit. So I put the plug back on. I only put on the finger tight because I'm gonna need this to get the uh, oil filter out so it don't get everywhere. But I just put that on finger tight so I could get to it again. So one second. So if you can see his oil filter is right there. So like I said, I'm gonna do mine from up here because it's a whole lot easier for me. So I wasn't able to get the video of me pulling this out, so I'm gonna try to hurry up because I ain't got a lot of memory on my phone. But got this out as you can see. Still got oil in it, so I'm gonna put this one. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your uh, oil filter in the oil and around the gasket ring. You're gonna lube it up a little bit. Put oil on it. Make sure you do that before you put it on. Then you can put the oil in it. Before you put it back on. I don't put too much. I don't spill it. I can't sleep in the land of neons because it smells like big mistakes. I had to put it down because I couldn't do it without two hands. But as you can see, I got it in and I'm just adding the oil to it now. Over in the gate where I'm standing is no level. You ain't got no steps to take, no direction to success. It's only something you create So there's no oh, 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 time to waste So there's no oh, 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 time to waste Now I'm gonna check the old stick. 
make sure I got enough oil in it. Oh boy. Make sure it's up to the full line right there. Really it. And I'll let it run for a second. See how it does. Everything's running good. Oil gauge is back up in the room. But yeah, that's how you change the oil on a 95 Bronco. It's the game all messed up. Hell no. Come kick mud in them deep sticks with them big boys. I'm southern grown by the grace of God. Shocking folks like a cattle prod. People that blew me off last year now hit me up with a text to call. Like, we're close. What's wrong with y'all? When I